Well, we're here today at the Midwest LSA Expo. We're inside the hangar on kind of a rainy day, but tomorrow's going to be a better one. But meanwhile, we have a chance to visit with some of the folks that are inside the display. Today, we're at the Leading Edge Airfoils booth, or LEAF, as everybody knows it. And these folks have been around for a long time, supplying all kinds of parts and materials needed for those who are building aircraft. One of which the things they do is engines and they play a lot of role with the Rotax engine. We're standing here by a Rotax 912. This brings up the question that several people asked us about, which is, how does maintenance work in the LSA world? Most people are familiar with the GA world, where you go hire an A&P, or airframe and power plant mechanic, and that person will do the maintenance on your airplane. There's very little opportunity, very limited number of things, that an owner can do on his own airplane in the general aviation world of type certificated aircraft. But that's different in the light sport aircraft world. First of all, there's two levels. If you're an owner of a light sport aircraft and you'd like to save some money each year, the question of how much uh, could be $500 or $1,000 or $1,500 a year, if you could do your own annual condition inspection. And you can. Now that doesn't mean you can go do heavy maintenance and and there is a way to get to that too, and we'll come back to that in a minute, but for a mere 16 hour course on the weekend, EAA offers such a thing. You can find more about that at EAA.org, or Rainbow Aviation in California does some training for that. In a single weekend course, two days of eight hours a day, you can then be licensed by FAA, not licensed, but approved by FAA to do the annual condition inspection, or the annual review of your airplane to make sure that everything is the way it ought to be. And that can save you some good money and gives you a closer contact with your airplane, gives you some more knowledge to work with. You'd probably be a better pilot if you went and did some of that stuff. But that doesn't allow you to do the major maintenance. In the general aviation world of type certificated aircraft, you have to get that A&P rating, and that's a two-year, 2,400-hour course. You have to invest some serious time and money to acquire that. And then probably you need to go do that for a living, or, or at least be deeply involved with it to justify all that. Very much less requirement in the light sport aircraft world. It's called the Light Sport Repairman Dash Mechanic, or LSRM is the common abbreviation for it. That's a 160-hour course, about four weeks, very intensive. You're going to be uh, working hard to get through that whole course. But at the end of that time, you are allowed if the manufacturer permits to work on a light sport aircraft. The annual condition inspection, the 16 hour course, only your own airplane. You can't go around and do that on other people's airplanes, not even if they're the exact same kind as yours. But once you have the LSRM, or Light Sport Aircraft Repairman Mechanic rating, then you can go do. You can uh, go out and be hired by a company that does this work, or you can set up shop and do maintenance yourself. You'll still need to work with the individual manufacturers of airplanes to get specialty training for those, but you will have all the basic instructions that you need to do maintenance on an airplane, and you can do that for hire. Now, is there anywhere where somebody could get more information on, on those types of programs? Well, I would go to, uh, first of all, you can go to any of these kinds of companies, like Leaf here, who's loaned us their engine for this video, and there are other companies that know about this as well, and they can all refer you, but the place I would send most people to start off would be to go to EAA.org, the Experimental Aircraft Association, focuses on individuals maintaining their own airplane, and so they are a good reference to this. But you could also go to RainbowAviation.com. That's a couple out on the West Coast that have done a lot of this training, especially the 160-hour course they do, and they can give you a lot of information at their website. That's the uh, Carpenters? That's the Carpenters, Brian and Carol Carpenter. And they've kind of made this their mission, and I think they've probably trained more people in the LSRM category than any other organization. And do you have any information to follow up on this on your website, Dan? I, my website mainly focuses on airplanes, but we do have links to all of these companies, and occasionally I will write about them. You can find that information on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. And today we're reporting for aircraftreporters.tv, where you can find even more videos and information. Subscribe to the Light Sports and Ultra Flyer web video magazine, with hundreds and hundreds of videos now online, including air show coverage, Rotax engine tech tips, Rotax 377, 447, 503, 532, and 582 engine rebuilding videos, each two hours in length. Propeller maintenance, advisors, and repairs, Vieras parachute saves, Bing carb updates, and much, much more. Get a yearly subscription at www.ultralightflyer.com.